Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome back to Wario Land 4. Today we're visiting Crescent Moon Village. I love the levels that are on theme in this passageway, but one level seems to be completely off theme. So right off the bat, we're introduced to a new enemy. It turns you into a zombie. I remember reading about the zombie status in Wario Land 2 and then being upset when I couldn't jump with it and had to, uh... Um... I had to get zombied while up above where I wanted to go through. Oh, listen to that music. Oh, hey! That's an interesting enemy. With the zombie status, I like how the, uh... Uh... Come on, brain. The music slows down. Oh goodness, I forgot about that enemy. Yeah, that enemy will steal cash. So you gotta be careful about when you, uh... Uh... You gotta be careful about when you unleash cash into the world. But he won't steal floating stuff. He'll only steal temporary stuff. I do not like that enemy. Oh! Right, this condition was first... Uh... first appeared in Wario Land 3, except you could transform between human form and bat form. And there was no reason to be a human. Whoa, 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 whoa. Since when was that enemy there? And in this section, we see the use of the vampire transformation as both an obstacle and an ability. Hmm. There we are. There's yeah, a little secret hole in the wall chamber and is is that the archaeologist? Mm, I can't remember enough of what the archaeologist looks like because I haven't paid sufficient attention to the archaeologist's appearance. I enjoy the way this music combines blues and reds. No! I didn't expect that to fly in that direction. Wait, I want to go up here because these are more valuable than any coins that will pop out of this. Oh, 
Whew, barely got there in time. Oh. Hmm. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, really? Hmm. I need to roll through here. Well, getting the CD was really easy in this stage. Oh no. Oh well. I'll just give those up as lost. Hmm. So, what do I bring over to... Oh! I think... I get it, I'm supposed to descend over here. Receive this and then dodge. I always thought these enemies look kind of like the, what is it, Chimera or Wyvern enemy from Dragon Quest. Anyway, there we saw why I don't like the bizarre physics of this game sometimes. There. There, and if I can keep my full health up until the end of the stage, I don't need any more cash. I'm definitely going to collect more cash. But yes, we've uh, we've seen both zombie and vampire as both obstacles and abilities. Okay, I guess the upstairs one was the one that led to a secret. Good attentiveness to detail. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, I guess all that was up there was three enemies worth some cash. It's odd how few uh, stages allow you to actually get full hearts relatively early on. Like, so many stages only have respawning enemies that don't drop cash or health because they instead... Uh... Because they instead give abilities and, and or serve as obstacles with those same abilities. And so you can't, uh... Come on, brain. And so you can't permanently defeat them. Yes. And only enemies that can be permanently defeated will drop cash. Oh, goodness. What's down below?
Okay, so what's over here? Okay. So, oh hey, definitely worth exploring this place before angering the frog. And that's the other thing that that enemy does. Steals your key. No, my key. Although, as you can see, getting your key stolen is more of a minor annoyance than anything of major importance. Just gotta make sure you get the key before you leave, and that enemy's always gonna stick around nearby. Oh, I'm glad that I left those blocks gone because that was a really easy passage out of here. And there we go. Nice and simple. I just stopped to pay attention to the surrounding area here for the first time. There are bones in the wall, it looks like. Alright, and tomorrow, I'm going to Arabian Night. I always thought that the theme here was spookiness, but I think it's just darkness. I'm sure there's two spooky levels, but then there's this level. An underground level. Yeah. Well, I'll see you next time.